So now let us see the experiment that was conducted by Gregor John Mendel. Here we can see two generations. Progeny 1, progeny 2, F1, F2 we can see here. So already I told you that why he has selected pea plants because there are some characters which are visible to outside which we can observe generation to generation what changes happened how the characters are inherited we can observe it. So such characters are contrasting characters. What are those tallness and shortness pea plants they have contrast characters some pea plants are tall some are short some pea, uh, some pea plants have round seeds some have wrinkled seeds some pea plants have green seeds some have yellow seeds some have white flowers some have violet flowers so these many variations are there in pea plants that is the reason why he has selected the pea plants for his experiment so here this experiment is based on the height of the pea plant tall so he selected a pea plant with tall and short two pea plants so these two plants pea plants are cross pollinated. The tall pea plant it is having capital T capital T means I told you before this I told you that every character every trait is expressed by two genes one is dominant one is recessive. So in this case in the tall plant both the genes are expressing tallness T T both the genes are expressing the same character tall tallness whereas the other plant it all it has got two it's two genes pair of genes for the character small t small t so that is why it is short so if cross pollination takes place between this and this the seeds that are obtained the seeds that are obtained from these plants are planted so in the first progeny what is observed here all the plants are tall but for outside just to look outside all are tall but let us see the ratio let us see their genes whether both the genes are expressing tallness or not no one gene is expressing the tall trait the other one is expressing the short but the plant looks tall because the tall is the dominant character the second case also capital T small t, third case also capital T small t, fourth case also capital T small t. All the four plants they have both the genes, the gene which is expressing tallness which is expressing shortness. But outside only one thing is seen, a plant can never be short and tall at a time. It can either be short or tall. Here it is only tall because it is the dominant character. So now here again F1 plant and F1 plant are crossbred for the second progeny F1 into F1. How is that F1? Here this is the F1. In F1 two genes one is capital T the other one is small t. One is expressing tallness the other one is expressing shortness. Here tallness and shortness. So now these are crossbred. So what is the result here? Out of this we got one fourth short and three fourth tall. 3 fourth plants are tall. 1 is, 1 fourth is short. Out of 4, 1 is short. So the short plant has got small t, small t. Both the characters are short. That is why it is short. In the other case, 50 percent. Out of 4, 2 are 1 capital T, 1 small t. Means one dominant character as well as it is carrying the recessive character also. Shortness, shortness expression gene is also there. Only 1 it is having both the dominant characters T T. So in the second generation 25 percent is having completely dominant, 25 percent is having completely recessive traits and the 50 percent is having mixed one dominant and one recessive gene. But to look outside all the three are tall, one is short. So this is how the inherit inheritance of variations takes place. So Mendel conducted some more experiments. In this case, he considered only one contrasting character, tall or short. In the next experiment, he has taken two different contrast characters. He considered tallness, shortness at the same time, their seeds. 
one plant with round seeds one plant with wrinkle seeds likewise in a combination of different contrast characters he has taken for the further experiment to understand better how these traits are inherited let us see now let us see the rules of inheritance by taking two contrast characters earlier we have seen that only one contrast character that is either short or tall tall plant short plant here two what is that here we are considering the color and shape of seeds of pea plant so here in the initially the seeds are taken like the seeds which are round the roundness is determined by both the genes capital r capital r and green it is determined by small y small y on the other side we have taken a seed which is wrinkle and yellow wrinkled yellow the wrinkleness is shown by small r small r yellow is shown by capital y capital y the first one is round green both are cross bred here in the first generation f1 progeny you got capital r small r means this is the dominant character so you got it as a round capital y small y the capital y it denotes that yellow so round and yellow round and yellow seed you got in the f1 progeny first generation now you have taken two same kind of first generation seeds and cross pollinated cross uh, fertilized cross bred cross breeding has taken place between the f1 and f1 so in this case the result is we get 315 round yellow seeds 108 round green seeds 101 wrinkle yellow seeds 32 wrinkle green seeds the ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 what does it shows so the characters are independently inherited it doesn't mean that the round and green roundness and greenness both are not linked so the character the traits are independently inherited see here the different combinations he got actually he has taken round green wrinkle yellow but he got round yellow round green wrinkle yellow wrinkle green so this is the different different combinations takes place because the traits are inherited individually and the one more important thing is that each and every trait is represented by two genes if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.